An Embassy from the East India Company of the United Provinces is a book written by Dutch author and explorer Johan Neuhoff. The full title of the English version of the book is An Embassy from the East India Company of the United Provinces, to the Grand Tartar Cham, Emperor of China, delivered by Their Excellencies Peter de Goya and Jacob de Kieser, at his imperial city of Peking wherein the cities, towns, villages, ports, rivers, and sea, in their passages from Canton to Peking are ingeniously described by John Newhoff, Englished and set forth with their several sculptures by John Ogilby. The book served as a major influence in the rise of Chinisiri in the early 18th century. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Publication history. The book was first published in Dutch in 1665 by Johan's brother Hendrik and the Amsterdam-based publisher and printer Jacob van Meurs. Its original title was Het Gezenschap der Nielandsche Oost Industrie Compagnie, Aan den Gruten Tartarischen Cham, den Tegenwoordigen Kaiser van China, Waren de Gedenkwerdigste Geschiedenissen, die onder het Raisen door de Sinnische Landschappen, Quantung, Kiangzi, Nanking, Zantung en Peking, Naan het Kaiserliche Hof te Peking, set at den Jaren 1655 tot 1657 zijn Vorjvallen, op het Bondigste verhandelt worden. Benefens en nor courage beschravenge der sinnische steden, Dorpen, Regiering, Wietenchappen, Handwerken, Zeden, Godsteinsten, Gebuwen, Drachten, Scheppen, Bergen, Guessen, Dieren, etc. en orlogen tegen de Tata, versiert men over de 150th Bilsels, Nart Leven in Sina Getikent, because of the immense success it enjoyed. Several other editions, albeit heavily edited and geared towards commercial interests, soon appeared. It was also translated into French, German, Latin and eventually into English in respectively, 1665, 1666, 1168 and 1669. The English version was not published by Van Meurs, but by John Ogilby instead. <laughs> Content The book consists of the notes and illustrations that Newhoff made in his position as a steward on Peter de Goya and Jacob de Kayser's embassy to the Emperor of China. These notes and illustrations were left in the care of his brother Hendrik, so as they not fall prey to rugged seas and hollow waves. This manuscript was eventually bundled and published to form this book, containing a written account of the embassy as well as 149 illustrations. The work itself is split into two parts. The first part contains the written account of the embassy led by Peter de Goya and Jacob de Kaiser to the Emperor of China. It details the entire journey from Canton to Peking and back again. This part also contains descriptions and depictions of all that the embassy came to pass on its trip. The second part consists of a general overview of China, wherein a variety of subjects comes to pass, containing descriptions and images of bridges, mountains, temples, customs, etc. The work provides a total of 149 pictures, an unusual high number. <laughs> Importance of the work Within the new stream of information about China that began in the late 17th century, with reports of travel trade missions, an embassy was a unique source. Especially the pictures marked a milestone in the history of the genre, because they were more realistic than before, providing both the real appearance of the Chinese people and their costumes. Prior to this period, the image of the Chinese in Europe was dominated by fantasy illustrations, already circulating for a number of centuries. Thus, this was the first work in a series of sources based not on fantasies, but on a direct representation of the Chinese life. Johann Neuhoff and his successors not only enhanced European knowledge about China, the pictures also gave an impetus to the growth of Chinisiri in the arts. Many subsequent artists and architects based their work on Newhoff's pictures. 
Topic bibliography in Dutch Blus L and R Falkenberg 1987 Johan Newhoff's Bilden van en Chinaries 1655 to 1657 Middelburg Sun Jing 2013 The Illusion of Verisimilitude Johan Newhoff's Images of China PhD dissertation Leiden University PDF Ulrix F 2003 Johan Newhoff's Blick auf China 1655 to 1657 Die Kuperstisch in seinem Chinabuch und ihre Wirkung auf den Verlager Jacob van Meurs Sinologica Koloniensia 21 Harrisowitz Verlag Wiesbaden ISBN 3-447-04708-9